Yeah, Brightville. This is interesting. Uh, after being on the dyno, my car uh, kind of fell on its face. So, um, looking at my ignition map, the blue uh, highlighted row is 6,500 RPM. Uh, one, uh, I just looked it up, but I can't remember. 20 pounds of boost is uh, in the 130, 137 range, I think. Look at the timing 11.2 dropping down to 9.4 that and this is the factory uh, platinum pro um, plug-and-play base map okay now as far as fuel I did adjust fuel according to my wideband but timing I'll be honest I never really looked at it uh, so I'm gonna go from about 15 degrees and go across the board because as we all know this area down here the car is never going to see all this is irrelevant this is the meat of what you're dealing with so anyway I'm, I'm thinking about 15 degrees from here all the way across uh, I'd like to go now I've read a little bit 17 seems to be kind of a normal area for an RB25 this is a 30, which, you know, it's it's still going to be in the ballpark. But anyway, I I thought that was pretty interesting. I'm going to add that to my dyno video that I'm not happy with. But looking at my timing, I think this explains a lot why the car feels so good. You know, 20 degrees, 19, 18 degrees. The car feels so good, but the higher you rev it, it uh, obviously is not feeling as good as it could, is it? I'm going to adjust that and uh, <laughs> that's, that's a world of horsepower, I believe, right there. So if you could, um, what kind of timing are you guys running at 20 pounds, 22 pounds? That's kind of the neighborhood I've, I've spiked, or, or the most I, I've, you know, 20 to 22 is kind of where where I'm at. 